everyone, it's me Barb, and I'm here today to show you the most efficient mining route for getting iron ore and gold ore. This does not hit every node in the biomes that it goes through, but it does hit nodes that are most closely placed together. And the loop that we are taking equals roughly uh, five minutes or slightly under. If you are well fed and your bar is gold at the top, so by the time that you get back to the first node, your nodes will be respawning. And we are only hitting the nodes that are most closely placed together. So we hit the most nodes that we could possibly hit in five minutes. So we are actually going to start over in the glade. Now, when we're doing this path, we are gonna hit every single node in the glade. And you do wanna make sure you're well fed. Always keep your bar yellow. Uh, and so basically always be running uh, so we can keep our speed up and we are going to hit our first node here oh, I swear I can mine and take your mining buddy you do want him to level 10 and then we're just going to go through and we're going to hit all the nodes here in the glade now once we're done at the glade we are going to teleport up to the sunlit plateau if you are playing on something where your teleport screens are kind of slow or buggy or might crash you, uh, feel free to just run up to the sunlit plateau. And I'll show you what we're getting there um, once we get to that point. Now, when your mining buddy is tossing out extra gems or whatever, uh, don't feel like you have to wait for him to finish tossing it out. Because we can always pick it up on our next route. Our goal is to do this five minute loop that we're doing as many times as possible. And uh, that one node, he might get stuck there. If he does, just kind of walk into him at an angle and push him away. Uh, Cause that is the one place we don't really want to leave him behind. Uh, when we teleport, it'll fix it. But I'd rather just keep him with us. Um, so we don't have anything bug out with getting our extra core. Now, while I was running this path at work on my lunch break, I got all of those. Uh, these 12 or so we've gotten since we've been going around. But on my 30 minute lunch break, I got like 100 iron ore. So you can imagine if you just sat here and spam this for an hour or two, you would get a whole ton. Now, from this point, we are going to go ahead and go up to the Sunlit Plateau. And you'll find that you're doing this a bit faster than me because right now I'm going through and talking to you guys while I'm doing this. But when you repeat this loop, you will sometimes notice that your last node that you did, uh, basically your first node that you did, which is uh, the next one in the loop, you'll notice it hasn't respawned yet. So if it's doing that, uh, basically you're being really efficient. You're getting through your loop in a timely manner. You can always pick up some sticks or flowers as you're going. But you will sometimes see these respawning when you're restarting your loop. So these are the only three we're going to do up here. So these three in that order. Then you are going to teleport. Oops, I pulled the map. <laughs> You're going to teleport up to Frosted Heights. So for this loop to work, you do need Frosted Heights unlocked. You need the Sunlit Plateau and you need the Glade. Uh, you do not need the Forgotten, uh, forgotten uh, Forest Realm. Forgotten Realm. And we're going to hit this node up here. Uh, on the map in the upper right hand corner. This is going to be our first node that we hit here. We're going to run over and we're going to hit this node. And any nodes I don't hit as we are going through is simply because it was a longer distance to run to them. And if you added them in, it took the sloop above five minutes. And the main reason we're getting these and the ones in the glade and the ones over in Sunlit Plateau are because they are the most closely placed together and they either give a good amount of iron ore or a combination of iron and gold. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I wanted iron and gold because I wanted to be able to do the cool gold paths. And also, just hitting these in this loop does hit roughly a perfect five minutes. So we're right on the reset without having to waste time just standing in the glade waiting for the glade to reset now the other thing you can do is you can do glade and forest only if you don't have um 
Frosted Heights or the Plateau unlocked. Those are very good for iron ore. Obviously, uh, you aren't going to be seeing the gold. And there aren't as many nodes, so you will be getting to the loop before your five minutes is up. So in between, you could gather some, you know, flowers and sticks and stuff. And again, you don't have to wait for Scrooge or your companion, whoever your mining buddy is, to finish tossing out his extras. Because we can always pick those up on our next loop around. Because our goal is to do this loop as quickly as we can, as many times as a row. Now, from the Frosted Heights, we grabbed those. Uh, we went down into the forest, and we're going to grab these two. Now, since I started this video, I am roughly over five minutes, because I've, I've been talking to you guys and picking up the ones that Scrooge has been throwing out. But this is technically the end of our loop. So, after this, we are going to teleport back to the glade. Now, since we're right over five minutes on this loop, you are going to see that your first node has already respawned. We need to eat food again. Um, now, this will take us slightly over halfway to max. It doesn't hurt to have a little bit more. Uh, best food for doing this is berry salad. It's super easy to make, gives you a ton of energy, but we want to stay yellow. So now we're back at our first node again. So we're just going to hit this. And again, you're fine not to stay and pick up his extras because you will get them eventually. We're going to do this loop a whole lot. But if you do this loop for roughly a half hour and you aren't making too many pit stops, you aren't waiting on anyone, you should get roughly 100 ore. If you run this for an hour, roughly 200 iron ore. And that's not accounting for the gold ore that you're getting as well. So a super efficient loop, easy way to get that iron ore and gold ore that you need for your ingots. Because I don't know if it's as frustrating to you guys to take forever getting iron ore or to have to go mine this when you need it. But I would just rather run a, a few quick loops, spam this for an hour, get it done, and then have everything I need in my inventory and not have to deal with it later. So as you can see, we're back at the beginning of the loop. We're doing the same thing. And then when we get to this last node here, we'll teleport to Sunlit. Or if you have a laggy piece of equipment you're running this on, you can definitely run up to Sunlight. It just adds about 15 seconds to your loop. And then once we hit those three nodes in Sunlit Plateau, you'll then teleport to the Frosted Heights. And you'll start at the um, north. Uh, northeast corner and you'll head west i will zoom out here so i don't have to go all the way up in this loop again you'll from here you'll teleport to sunlit you'll hit the nodes here here and here then from there you'll teleport to frosted heights you'll run up here hit the nodes here here these four and then you'll come down here hit the node here here and here go across this hit this node and this node and then you'll teleport back to the glade and then you'll start the loop over now, in my inventory, keep in mind, I ran this for a half hour on my lunch break at work, and I just ran like a loop and a half. I have 137 iron ore in my bag, and I have 57 gold ore. So, as you can see, it's super efficient. Run this for an hour, and you will be surprised just how much iron and gold ore you get. And friendly reminder, if you do not have Sunlit Plateau, and you do not have the Frosted Heights, you can simply run uh, the glade and the forest, just hit all the nodes. Um, the, the main ones we're skipping are simply because they really are a bit far out of the way. So uh, the one we're mostly skipping in the forest is like way down here. There's no point in running all the way down there when we can just, you know, get this perfect little loop of running like that and then teleporting and then always hit every single node in the glade and only hit these three here because there's no point. This is mostly gems. And by the time you come in here, there's not much to get on that side. So these three, full loop in the glade and uh, starting in the Frosted Heights, definitely loop down, come through here, hit all these along the way. Don't get this one. Uh, sorry, I've thrown the map over. Do not get that one, it's a waste of time. So if that was helpful to you, please like and subscribe. I'm going to try to post more useful videos, um, but really, I just kind of wanted to save you some time on this one.
I see people all the time not having iron ore. And honestly, the best way for me is to just marathon that loop, get a whole bunch of iron and gold ore while I'm at it, and then I can craft things that I want, like that really cool brick fence that takes a lot of iron, or those gold paths. You aren't going to have to worry about needing materials for it. Or let's say you want to make that big Mickey water tower that's like 100 ingots. That takes a lot of ore to make 100 ingots. So, again... Uh, if you stuck around this far, you might as well like and subscribe. And uh, I hope that's helpful for you guys. Until next time, see you around. Bye, guys.